Hello my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mask. My name is the Flatless Bird, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel, and joining with us is the king of the giant robots, Azappa. I'm here to guide you through all the shiny nooks and spooky crannies of this eight-year-old child. It sounds like quite an adventure, so let's go ahead and continue, shall we? Just make sure you're not under it when you do, when you say that. Oh yeah, that. Okay, so there's no fights; it's all puzzles. Bottle of red wine sits for you. Thick dust coating this bottle of red wine makes it as a fine vintage. The label is so old that it's mostly feathered off, and what remains is no longer legible. You're now in a point-and-click adventure. Oh, nice! Large green mouth looks for you. Pulling mouth as uh, you pull back as the mouth steers towards your outer chance. What are we here? I have no eyes, so I cannot see you. I have no ears, so I can't hear you. But my tongue, my tongue can taste. Oh, it sounds like a, uh... Sounds like the puzzle from, uh, King's Quest VI. I can taste the disturbed dust motes in the air. I can taste the moisture from your breath. A visitor. A visitor is what I taste. It's been so long. No doubt you want to go through my door. All visitors do, and all visitors must. But my throat is so parched. It's been so long since I had a good drink. This room needs to be filled with good drinks. It's such a delicious drinks. I drink, and drink, and drink them all up. Well, all I could reach. My tongue is long, but not long enough. If you bring me some drink, I'll be so grateful. I'd even let you through my door. When you pick up a bottle of red wine, you notice something about inside. I'm sure I can even place it in bag anyway. Ah. Uh-huh. With some effort, you pull the cork from the bottom and throw it in an open mouth. As soon as the wine hits its tongue, its mouth lined grasps the bottle as he sucks down the contents. Mmm, yes, yes, I can taste the sun in the grapes. I can taste the long, slow death on the vine. I can. What's this? A tooth? A tooth? What was this doing in my precious wine? The mouth hacks and sputters as the tooth lodges itself in its throat. Please, something to wash this down. Other paths. Weird red dot there. What? Yeah. Shall pull blood lies. You tuck the empty bot into the blood puddle. Or Bubbles gurgle the surface as a bottle freely slips in liquid. Soon the bottle's filled and the puddle has all but dried up. Ew. Ah, this is gross. You hold the bottle of blood up to the mouth and it gulps it down. Ah, I can breathe again. What's this taste of my tongue? It's magnificent taste. What man of wine is this? I love the coppery fish, the way it clicks in my tongue and teeth. Oh, you spoiled me, visitor. You spoiled me greatly. How can I call myself a connoisseur if I don't drink such quality wine again? I'll never forget this kind of visitor. I do. Ah, he loved it. He didn't give you anything, did he? Nope. Uh, he opened the door. Okay. Uh, bookshelf lies for you. Like the rest of the shelves in the library, this one is filled with dusty tomes. However, this seems to be a book missing. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Nothing? 
one floor at a time. A jar of thickening agent lies before you. Your sword thickening agent empty ball will be hard to get out. Partially filled reaction flash size before you. The glass is bold as table, so you won't be able to take it with you, and the glass is surprisingly thick. Our tooth is floating in the liquid. The white powder filling this jar is used in laboratories and sub-kitchens to thicken liquids without otherwise changing the substance. You can make thick water. Carnivorous plant lies before you. Plants so lazily in the stuffy room. Despite the lack of sun, it somehow managed to grow larger than you. It leans towards you and looks the edges of a sharp teeth. How you doing, Aubrey? A jar of mandrake seeds lies before you. Mandrake seeds have been used to use as a central ingredient in certain weed killers, but only only cause nausea and humans. You can store some in your bottle, but they would be hard to get out later. A job button to fix the door lies for you. The door is locked, but it doesn't have to just lock you in the door knob. Job button missing four teeth just in for the fun, so I need four teeth. Refrigerator filled with rotten meat lies for you. The stench where you feed from the refrigerator is palpable. The maggots weighing this meat make it difficult to tell exactly what kind of meat it is. Pull a handful of meat from heat and place it in your bag, then pull up your hands free of the residual juices. Your hands still weak when you're done. Oh, didn't inspect that spice rack. Tried. So no, spices you were and one space over. Among them are black pepper, garlic, salt, ground mustard, and powdered meat extract. Well, thank you. Uh, hard to get out. No mass season will make this up. <laughs> a box filled with sewing supplies. There are various thimbles and other sewing supplies that find what a box but only thing you can somewhat use is a needle and thread. Reach in the box of sewing supplies, apply a needle thread, and place it. of eternal darkness. Great game, by the way. A dead woman sitting in a bathtub lies before you. The one's body has pruned and bloated after sitting in the water for so long. The murky water well, seems to have leveled off despite constantly running things over the overflow plate. You dump your empty bottle in the water, keep it away from the dead woman. It quickly fills up place it into No amount of printing will cleanse the stench from you. Lock door lies in Book lies for you. Okay, so I know where the book goes. Mm -hmm. I remember which door it's in. This one? Nope. Maybe on the bottom floor. Yeah, I think so. Place the little book in the gap and wait for the secret patch to be revealed. Way longer, but nothing happens, so. Place the book is back in the right place.
Don't cry and slide before you. The crying's picked up wall as if they're alive. Plus, hard as I can, and will at least you can. I need that flight killer, don't I? Maybe. You have a flight killer? Find a flight killer? No, but I know there's this place where you can get a flight killer. Ah. I still haven't explored one um, area. It's Jimmy. Look at Jimmy. All the dots. It's scary. Not a nightmare dungeon, but it's scary. Besides a picture of Jimmy, which out why it's in this room, nothing else is here. the light back off? Yeah, I heard that. Oh, they switched it off again. Really I noticed something the... interesting when the light was off. There's nothing in this place. They, they, I, I don't... They, there is kind of a sequence. Hey, try to leave the room. Some of the thickening into your bottle swirl around. The liquid starts clinging to the sides of the bottle. Now you have thick water. Bottle is something. Pour liquid in the reaction plastic. Wash your tooth by the top. Then grab a piece of. Okay, you're gonna need to refill that bottle. Where would I fill it at? Uh, the other stairs on the other the side. The bathtub, right. Oh, there's something on the window now. That was always there. Did you know where the plant killer was? Well, I thought it was, but it was just the uh, the flask that gave me a two. Is that like always smiling at me? Or Not the oven? intentionally. The oven. See, like the eyes and the mouth. Yeah, I see it now. Place it to the jawbone. and immediately fix the place that's the jaws if it would look. Oh, there it is. Take a mandrake suit from the jar and dump it in the water. It begins to dissolve until it looks like regular water. Well, that's good. That's not what it's for. Well, the cotton's about all over the plant. It shakes this up off a day's way and there's nothing out. Nope. That was wrong. Now I gotta go back and get the water again, don't I? Huh? I remember some of these solutions. But there's one that I don't know when it shows up. It just shows up. So 
you want the bottle, the mandrake seed. Yeah, I got the mandrake seed. I don't know what it's for though. Weed killers. Hmm. But yet when I use it here, it didn't work. Right. Maybe it doesn't want water. Maybe it wants something else you have. Tell us about me to plant. It opens his mouth and chops down. Chewing the fetid mint and eating with a small satisfied bird. Yes, it likes meats. I think there's something else in this room that'll help with that. A bottle of something. It wants a fluid that is meat-like. Yeah, I know that's something in that powdered meat extract. Uh -huh. You don't want a good amount of powdered meat extract in the water to roll around. And then, but now it's just red water. No, it should have the, uh, this stuff nope, in it. Nope. Uh-huh, not in the water. But not in the water. Nope, 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 wait. What, I put the meat stuff in here. It's got the mandrake that, in here. That, I'm saving you time. That's not the right answer. You have everything you need. You just need to assemble it. Well, how do I assemble things? You have meat. It likes meat. And mandrake seeds are poisonous. Used as a plant killer. Yeah, but I can't use items. But you've been using items. Well, I mean, I can't... Okay, there we go. I, hope it, I don't know why I could do that before. Turn the 50 meat in each cell, so if I burn soon after it's fine to get the brown, it sleeves drop. The plant subsides itself itself falling ground. I don't know why I could do that earlier. I tried that earlier. Did you? You put it in the water. Okay, what did that do though? Didn't you pull on some vines earlier? The bookcase. Well, and it's right above it, too. I understand now. Okay, good touch. So that goes to the other door that I couldn't open before. We still need to get one more ingredient in that water. Because the lips want more. Am I the other door? It's it's on, on the, the other, other side. The other stairs, yeah. So let's stop in, in, in this room. Get that thickening agent. So now you have a thick, viscous red fluid with poison in it. Perhaps a pair of lips would like some thick, viscous red fluid. A blood-like fluid. Mouth takes a tiny sip and gulps down the rest. This, now this is a taste I remember. I don't know where you'll find this visitor, uh, my visitor, but I'll drink. Something's not right. The mouth gaggers and wretches of obviously spit scallops to serve people blood. As the blood slips into the voice guy, you notice a blood cooked blood covered too. Place it in your back. Edges of the mouth slip are drooping. First you feel me that too, now you slick my thirst with poison? No more visitor. Poor guy. He mad. 
Okay, now the locked door on the other stair. I'm just gonna put the tooth down so it's on my inventory. Now where you get the third one? I'm trying to break down the door with the bottle, he's just with the bottle. The doll lies before you. The doll seems to go to position, there's no need to mend here. Small skull doll, Adeline, is attached, is stitched to the fabric of her green dress. Her black eyes seem to follow you. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, that's creepy as heck. Gotta hunt her down. Oh, where did this brat go? Do I need any more water? No. You're good on water. Finally. Stall. I have no chance of finding it. The picture. I actually didn't know if that was going to do anything or not. Tell me there's an actual sequence. Go to the library. I think she's in the library. like we're playing the game Clue. Almost. Uh -huh. oh, there she goes. Finally, we get used to the slider. Why <laughs> should it just disappear again? Oh, come on! This game is such a troll! Yes. So she's somewhere else now. I'm actively looking it up. I don't like it when games do this, where it's just like a game of hide and seek, where you're just wandering around until a trigger happens. It's not my favorite type of way to do a puzzle. So 
Okay, dark tunnel. found it. Now she's gone again. Oh, that was creepy. Right off. So now I gotta go um, to another no, no, no. room. It's this one. They play it was right here. My tummy hurts. Oh, don't tell me we need to find scissors. Something. Or meat? No. We got enemies. Now they're active because her friends are running around. Did I steal it? I was not looking. Oh, I did. Cool. Also, the Oh, okay, so there, there's there's two bits. That was an interesting uh, one-hit KO attack. Head to 360 degrees. That's creepy. Okay, so she did leave a box in the room upward. It's a very tiny box. You would almost not even know that it was there before. Here? Yes. Tiny box. Yeah, it just looks like every other box. Right. Small X before you see a small hole in the top, large enough for your hand. You reach inside and feel around. You grab something inside and pull it out. It's a tube. Now we go back to the plant room. Once again, BRB. Huh? until it pop out. Trying to make it so only one popped out at a time. I noticed that. Very smart. Nice, Buck. 
Oh, a double crit on a double attack. That's what I'm talking about. Pick up. I was trying to get the room? meat. No, just the plant room. Because she said she was hungry. No, she said she didn't feel good. Her tummy hurts. How about that broken pot there? We didn't check that out since it fell off the wall. I didn't realize it fell off the wall. Yeah, that's what happened when she came. She came in, it fell and broke, and she giggled and scampered off. Nice, Buck. Oh, a new enemy. Everyone is startled. And it's chinning, and he's trotting. Oh, that doesn't look good. Was defending it did that much damage. Well, that sucked. Jeez. Uh... It's turning into a very difficult fight. Because that pile of pies falling from the shelf is on the ground, the minis hurt. Oh, they're sharp. Now. So I gotta cut her open. Let's go play doctor. Say my startle for. Jimmy's now level 21 and Buck is now level 21. Party shirts. You press party shirt against the fabric of the doll's dress, making it cutting down. First, the dress stairs away, then you cut through the doll's stomach. Cotton spills from the wind like contestants. A tooth rests among the mound of stuff, and you pick it up, place it in your bed. Don't know how many teeth that is yet. That's four. Because if so, that should be all of them. Yep, that should be all of them. Nice. I don't know, I thought that was a pretty interesting area. I mean, it's it had its it, it had its a little bit of frustration at times, but I think overall that was a cool area. Welcome to battle. Jimmy, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Have you thought about me much? I've watched you, you know. I watched you plummet into the well. I watched you play with Adeline. 
Can you blame me? Imagine my spies seeing you come here, the place where things are left to be forgotten. I wonder how much you thought about it, what it's like to be forgotten. It's not fair, is it? No, it's not fair at all. My time in the fire is coming up. Isn't it natural for me to avoid it? Is it natural for me to cling to life? I want a place where we can live, where toys can live forever. Just a little corner of you, Jimmy. A place where you can come from time to time to say hello. Is that too much to ask for? Of course it is. How selfish of me, right? Well, I'm not letting go. I'm staying right here. Then you can do something. I am not ready for this fight. I'm not like fully healed or anything. Yeah, I'm not ready for this fight. Uh, let's squawk you. Uh, you go ham. Uh, no, I don't want you to go ham. I want you to go ham on the next guys. But you go ham on this guy. I'm gonna do a preemptive triple cola here. Beckles thinks that you're prepared given that you ground in the buck zone. Nothing happened yet. He actually went faster than me, even though I'm in bird form. Filled with bombs. Oh, well, that's oh, nice. God. That's rare. Kinda sucked. Boxes are gone. Ah, oh, come on, I want new presents. berserk with him either because he could like punch the presence which are not useful Good shot. Do 
Suck an egg, evil leprechaun. Also, that was technically a nightmare dungeon. Well, I guess this is it. But before I go, did you have fun, Jimmy? You made it real hard to house to explore. I'm so glad you found it. You could have ignored it and went on, but you didn't. I wanted to come here. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. I know that my time in the fire is coming, but to play with you one last time. Come no more to me than anything. Thank you, Jimmy. What was that all about? One of his old toys that he forgot about. There you go. Aww. It was one of his old toys. Loaded dice! No more time Literally, roll the dice. So this is like, um, yes, Luca's Wonder Shop. Sure, I was thinking more like the the dice weapon in Final Fantasy VI, but I don't know how much you use sets here. Yeah, okay, okay, I know those. Uh, that's really a popular item in uh, Randomizer, isn't it? Because it has a high chance, or at least the fixed dice, you can like set things up because. It's the three dice multiplied by a certain number. I don't know if I like it, though. I don't like randomization. I mean, I like high numbers, but I don't like to see low numbers. It's, it's sort of like, I'd rather have consistency. Right. I'm just that kind of player. Oh, man, there's a weapon later that you're going to adore. Double also, you got reckless charge. Uh, wow. I was thinking of putting this on buck. It's a buck only weapon, too. Yep. Basically, Big it's the heal. Smash. Double bomb is pretty common? Yeah, I can imagine that. That's why I was trying to solo as much as possible. I don't know if you saw me. Yep. The weapon is fine as long as you don't normal attack. Oh, that's a good point. The bomb is, though. Really, the only one who does physical damage outside of Buck is Mom. But Mom has the speed boots. So yeah. I'd rather not give those up. And now we have to go the correct way. Although you could go through the dungeon again. The front door is wide open. Oh, you can talk to Claire too. Hold on, I don't know where a fountain is. Hey, do you know it's right there? Yeah, I'm saying it in the other time. You know and you got a new item. Yeah, but it probably doesn't complete the set. No, but it might be better than one of the single ones. What was it? Uh, the jack o lantern Magic. Ah. to get to level 15. Yeah, it may be really good to level up first. Wow, kid. I can't believe you're able to infiltrate Tobacco's Mansion. I've been stuck here for weeks. I may not have a real con here. What's that? When so is reforming the God Knights? Huh. After we disposed of the Queen, I wanted to carry on the tradition of the God Strength. I thought establishing a new colony would build the God in an empire. And we'd be able to regain our former glory. But at the end of the day, I'm just a soldier. The Lagana Knights are gathering, but my men and I need to return to my home country. I still believe in Lagana. I never stop believing. 
I dream of a world where the music will like out or can be heard over the hills and across the rivers in a world where everyone's limit unite under one song. That's probably a lame dream, but I think it's a noble one. All Earth of Men will depart immediately. And now you can just walk through instead of dealing with waves of enemies that you probably weren't ready for. Hey, if I could take down that boss, I could take down waves of enemies. Well, I mean, at the time. Oh, here we go. You could hyperactivity. Go first. Yeah, but I can't do enough damage to him. You have two sunshines. Yeah, but I have to go before he dodges, right? Right, I'm just saying, if you turn on hyperactivity, it doubles your agility. You've also got better stats than you did before. Back. And just a base at all. It's really annoying. Yep. Because I even used my high acceleration, I still didn't go first. Yeah, a little miffed at that. They'll probably bugger off now. Wait, what? You did it? He must have done nothing. Oh, he hit Helga with that and Yui. Right, he hit it with the Anui, but that was on the last turn, not this turn. He must have been trying to do another Enyui. Let's be. Octopus. So, is there nothing else here? Uh, this should be golden. Is that not progress? Is there not a pass forward? My lucky day finally. Was that like eight times now? So far. Should have startled them. And all the bones trying for help from a dirt, but he's not she's up to them. A bit was between him a little. I talk him in zoo tricks. He can now fetch merchandise when I ask for it, assuming that object's mass does exceed his by a certain amount. 
He can also shake. He likes me scratching at his ears. Oh, he's a good doggo. I have a deal for you. It's only limited time. Oh my god. Uh, I want one Mecha Super Bowl. You can't get any of those until stupid late in the game. And that doesn't affect any of your money in the bank. Thousand percent luck based damage. Wow. Alright, number nine. Let's rotate the board. I have to be the unluckiest bird in the planet. What verb for that one? Let's try everything before we just. I have an idea, but. We out. Those dogs aren't worth it. You know those are ghosts, right? What's that? You know those are ghosts, right? Yeah, but the problem is there's two of eighty. They don't get yeah, that much you... experience. They can kill your experience with enemy. Yeah, yeah, but you 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 call them a dog. Ah, because they're ghost dogs. All right, nope. There's there's a couple of verbs missing. Jimmy has whispers from hidden places. You still have one more verb to get, and I guess that's the one we need. One more regular verb, that would be the answer. Now your boy be curious. Traveling through? Gunter is afraid of the path. Is afraid the path is closed for now. Gunter has so much work to do, you see. There's always work, so much work, but clearly Gunter has had much more and more. You're welcome to rest here until he finishes shift. Oh, guess, it's been so long. I'm sorry this place is such a mess. Gunter has never had visited, you see. Is this your first time in Whispering Valley? Gunter holds the whisper and doesn't keep you up. There's a valley where forgotten toys gather. They whisper to each other all night and day. It can get pretty tax if you're not used to it. Gunter uses earplugs at night. But Gunter hasn't been sleeping much lately. Too much work, you see. The whispering keeps you up. Remember that the whispering about happy times. The whistle little kitchens, toys, always thinking about all the things they were once imagined to be. Exciting, wonderful things. So much better than what we are manufactured to be. That's what gives them the ability to whisper, what gives them life, you see. It's breathed into them by the owners. Then it comes out slowly over the years, with the thick dust that covers them, or the mold and mildew. When they lost all hope of seeing that life again, that's when they come to Gunter. He takes them for the pile, puts them in the furnace. There needs to be more room for newer toys, newer dreams, newer memories, you see. Sorry, got to talk so much. Please rest. <sighs> Should have explored fully first. You're fine. This isn't good. Kutu needs to work, but your friend isn't letting him. Can you help? Let's 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 be regular Jimmy right now. Five more minutes. What comes under his breath? Let's let's just stay as regular Jimmy for. Why? 
It's better that way. Oh, it's Jonathan. Staring into the fires. Jonathan Bear stares at the furnace. The flame stance in its glossy black eyes. Would you like to? No! Wait, are you serious? We gotta do this? Have you figured out why? Ah! I wanna do this! This is a Mori all over again! I don't wanna lose this guy! Sure. Well, he's a great party member. He may be a uh -oh. horrible personality, but he's a good party member. Uh, okay, let, let, let's rephrase the statement. You don't want to push him in. What does Jimmy want to do? Is it already it's time? It's already time? Oh. This isn't your decision to make. You don't get to choose what to forget. That's creepy. I can remember everything. I remember when you saw me on the shelf. I remember the way you looked at me. Your eyes filled with shiny, scrumptious green. I remember when you held me close underneath your jacket. As you walk past the cashier and outside with your mother. I remember lie after lie after lie about me. You remember staring at me as if I sat on the foot of your bed. You remember seeing yourself reflected in my shiny black eyes. I remember sitting in the dark of the closet. Now I remember waiting. I thought you forgave me! And waiting. And waiting. And then I heard the pulsating mass call out to me. And its voice was sweet and deep, like the muck at the bottom of an ancient swamp. Remember all of that, Jimmy? Of course you do. Because I won't let you forget. Creepy. Jonathan's various equipment has been removed. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.